Okay. Okay. We are ready. So hello everyone. Welcome to Bumsy Now. Literally just titled it that in my head and we're yes. going to go with it. <laughs> I am Pastor Shelby Slowey. I am the director of, Congre uh, not the director of congregational care. I am the director of evangelism, and we are speaking with Wesley, who is the minister of congregational care. Um, Wesley Hill is one of the newer members on our staff, and so I thought it might be fun to spend a little bit of time getting to know her, um, have her share some of her gifts with us, what it is that she does, um, and maybe play a couple of fun games. So buckle up, get prepared. Wesley, welcome to Bumsy Now. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you very oh, much. <laughs> this afternoon. You doing okay? I am. I'm doing great. Awesome. Can you share with us um, your title and what it is that you do, what you're in charge of, kind of your job description? I am, let's see, my official title is Minister of Congregational Care. Um, and I work with Casey Orr. Uh -huh. um, um, she is over that department um, and basically we take care of the needs of the congregation like um, support groups and grief and um, those kinds of things basically when people are hurting we're sitting with them yeah I can imagine because I have been in that department before um, that's where I entered in on the staff five years ago um, with an 8,500 member congregation, those needs are prolific. Um, and yes. so can you share a little bit about why would someone contact you? Like what kind of needs would they maybe have to reach out to you directly? Well, um, we have done, um, we get a lot of the prayer requests, um, do a lot of things with people who have upcoming surgeries um, and procedures like that. Um, we have, um, one of the things that, that we've kind of been looking at, um, well, in the middle of a pandemic, um, are people who feel isolated, right. um, people who are, you know, struggling with some depression or some, um, you know, other, other things like that, kind of some mental health things, but also physical things, um, feeling lonely, um, people who have gone to rehab or nursing home, we cover a whole lot of different areas there. Yeah, yeah. So if someone was watching this, struggling with depression or addiction or um, or some physical illness or something, what would you want to say to them? Uh, well, call us, <laughs> reach yeah. out, let us know. Um, we we are here. We want to help you. We've got different groups that are meeting, uh, not in person, but um, you know we have visitation ministry. We've got Stephen ministers. Um, Stephen ministers are um, lay leaders who would like to meet with anybody who needs just that extra level of care. Um, and they check in with them, they have relationships with them, build relationships, those kinds of things. So it's, it's kind of, you have another layer of support there as well. Yeah, so there are resources and you are not yes. alone. Yes. Right, That's exactly. So good. Okay, well, um, I want to jump kind of out of work context and into just getting to know you personally. Um, and so this is gonna be kind of like a rapid fire interview question. I just say like <laughs> the first thing that comes to your mind. Um, oh dear, oh, well, <laughs> you may not want that. It's a little bit of editing, but <laughs> uh, I just have a couple of questions that I just think I like to ask these of people um, because I feel like they get at the heart of who a person really is. Um, mm. Do you have a go-to karaoke song? No. You don't? Do you sing? No. Karaoke? No. I sing in the shower. I sing when I run. I sing all kinds of stuff, but I don't know. I am very much a behind the scenes kind of person. Uh -huh. and people by myself. No, thank you. So you're at the table <laughs> cheering on the karaoke right. scene. I'm oh. like, go sing yes. that song. That's great. And I'll hum it along, but you sing it in front of everybody. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Uh, daiquiri ice. Ooh, yum. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that. That's delicious. It I like is. In fact, um, I need to go to Baskin Robbins right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I think they're, they reopened, I think. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, okay. This is going to be really weird. Go with it. If you could <laughs> dispense any condiment out of your belly button for the rest of your life, what condiment would you choose to always have constant access to? 
Hmm. That is, hmm. <laughs> I feel like that question just really trips people up because it's, it's deeper than what's your favorite condiment, right? This is like, this is not, this is a, intense relationship with this well, see, and and it's like well do i want ranch for salads or do i want ketchup to go with everything else or yeah and you'll never run out of it when you're in the car and you drive through the fast food line and there's no ketchup and you have kids in the back seat i've been there yes yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think we'd, we'd have to go with with that one yeah that was a very I think it's really because i'm a mom <laughs> yeah that was a very selfless answer um <laughs> My answer is always ranch and my kids hate ranch. So whatever, I'm a ranch queen and I just want to have, I hate when I run out of ranch. It just makes me furious. <laughs> okay, um, final question. This one's not as silly, but we are in the midst of our um, Teach Us to Pray series. And so Davis is talking about how uh, the disciples asked Jesus to teach them how to pray. And um, I've realized over the course of the past few years that a lot of people in our congregation are very uncomfortable with prayer, with public prayer or even private prayer. They're not really sure what to do or how they're supposed to say things. So what is your favorite way to pray? Are you kind of a more interesting perspective kind of quiet prayer or do you um do lectio divina like praying with scripture like how do you like to pray to god honestly well see there again i got several different answers for you uh every single morning this is where i start this is my deck um and this is where i start before the sun comes up so it's a lot of quiet time mm -hmm. before the kids get up um so i have a lot of that introspective prayer at that point um, I pray when I run, Ooh, I will yeah. listen to praise music and that will, you know, that's, I pray when I run, that's when I do a lot of my thinking and praying for other people. Um, but also through songs. So I don't sing karaoke, <laughs> but a lot of times songs will pop in my head. And that's one of the things in one of the ways that I think I pray the most. Yeah. Um, like is through the lyrics. It's, it, well, it's, uh, my dad was minister of music at right. First Baptist downtown for 30 years. So the hymns are a big part of me. Um, and I can think of so many times when I needed to know that God was bigger than the way that I felt. Mm. Because my feelings will do this. Yes, so true. God it was right here. Um, and there are several hymns that just, they ground me. So that when I am doing this, I'm like, God is bigger. He's just that foundation. So yeah. I don't know that I have a favorite way. I just have lots of ways that I like to. That is beautiful. Yes, <laughs> I think a lot of our congregation re can resonate with that sense of emotional roller coaster and having a God that is mm -hmm. um, certainly in the midst of that, but also transcending that with us. So that's great. Um, I have one final activity for us, and okay. for those watching, um, Wesley has no idea what we're about to do. <laughs> so, I've had no idea the whole time. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so some of you may be familiar with um, Jimmy Fallon, and we are going to play the Whisper Challenge. Now, Wesley, do you know what the Whisper Challenge is? Okay, so <laughs> ordinarily um, in in the whisper challenge there is um someone who has headphones on and the music is blasting so they can't hear anything and the other person says a word or a phrase and the person with the headphones has to guess what the word or phrase is by reading the person's lips um <laughs> okay so since we don't have headphones and since we're in the, a the age of zoom i figured we'd make it simple um i will mute myself and say the word or phrase and you will try and guess it. But for our audience, I want them to be able to know. Uh, and so just close your what eyes. I'm real... guessing it. <laughs> yes, close your eyes real quick. Okay, this is our first word. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to mute myself and I'm going to say it and you're going to guess. Ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's try that again. John Wesley. <laughs> that was way <laughs> too easy. You got it so quick. Okay. All right, round two. That was so good. Round two. Um, close your eyes. I don't even have a context as to where these things are coming from. <laughs> okay, open your eyes. I'm going to mute. Here we go. Davis Chapel. <laughs> okay, you're way too good at this. All right, final, final round. This one might be okay. a little trickier. 
Okay. All right. Close your eyes. Okay. Open your eyes. Tennessee Titans. Oh, Tennessee shoot. Titans. <laughs> <laughs> I got that one. You got it. Three for three. You are a rock star. Thank you so much for playing. I'm going to have to make those more difficult for future interviews. <laughs> oh, but that was a lot of fun. Oh, well, thank you so much for joining us. And for everyone watching, uh, please feel free to reach out to Wesley with any congregational care needs. She would be happy to be in prayer with you, as would any of our pastors or staff. Um, we are just so thankful for our community of faith um, being able to stay connected in this time of quarantine. So um, peace be with you all. Yes. Bye. Thank you.